Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I wanna share with you four fragrances that I think are perfect to wear for a casual Sunday summer brunch. Now, if you guys didn't know, brunch is a whole lifestyle, okay? Like, it's the brunch for me. I'm older now, I can appreciate going to bed a little early on a Saturday night and waking up early enough that I can make it to a nice brunch spend my day outside, come back home by the evening or like, you know, early, early evening, late afternoon, prepare dinner and, you know, get ready for the work week. So brunch, I'm all about brunch. Now with brunches, I can go either very, very, very high or very, very, very low. Brunch is brunch. Today is a more casual brunch for us. Um, it's not super duper casual. Like we're not going to like crack a barrel or anything like that but it's just a nice casual brunch but i want to smell more elevated you know what i mean so i have four fragrances in the running clive christian 1872 bond number nine chinatown um killian good girl gone bad and initial atomic rose now if anybody is clutching their pearls because i mentioned chinatown i'm just gonna say this right now it's not for everybody, okay? It's a tuberose and peach scent with a patchouli and woody dry down. And it's very strong, very potent. Like this fragrance right here is not for everybody. It's not a safe flying by. And yeah, I feel like this fragrance can also be worn in the fall and the winter because I wear it in the fall too. But on those summer days when I just want to feel extra and project a little louder and I want more people to smell me, <laughs> Then I'm reaching for Chinatown. And honestly, it's not that hot today. It's hot, but it's not like sweltering. Otherwise, I would have been wearing one of these Aqua Allegoria fragrances because those are my hot weather like go-to fragrances. So, told you all of the fragrances. Now, guys, I was so confused. I had to ask Bay to pick. So, I wore what he suggested for me to wear because I was kind of like all over the place. We have your Fruity Green with 1872 last long this projects as well this is another hot weather fragrance but you could also wear this in the fall i've worn this in the fall in the winter and got my life it just smells so rich so classy it doesn't smell like you're trying too hard i'm not gonna lie with the good girl chinatown you're trying a little something but it's all good sometimes we could try and with chinatown i also have the body cream so we'll talk about that in a second now let's talk about killian's good girl right good girl gone bad so guys this is another floral fragrance it's kind of like a green floral fragrance as well i guess i was in a floral mood you know like a green floral mood but this is a scent that i feel like it's kind of soft but the presence is there it's a fragrance that you can overspray, and i also have the body cream because i layer these two guys this is so beautiful it's like green and floral you smell the tuberose but it's kind of creamy at the same time. Like this is beautiful. I chose my scent already and it's not <laughs> good girl going bad. And the other one that I had was Initials Atomic Rose. This is kind of similar to Delina, but definitely more of a beast, more sharp. You smell the rose more present in this fragrance. Like literally it's an atomic rose. The rose is atomic, doesn't go anywhere, lasts super long, Perfect for a summer day, sitting outside for brunch. This is a good one too. I don't have a body cream to that, but I was gonna use a rose lotion or an unscented lotion. Just put some drops of the Turkish rose perfume oil in it, you know, to give it a little bit more extra rose. Not that it needs any more rose because that fragrance is booming with rose. So can you guys guess what I chose or guess what Bay chose for me? I'm gonna give you a little minute. Okay, <laughs> enough time. So I chose Chinatown. Guys, this one right here, like let me put a little bit more on. Love this. And be careful if you guys are wearing costume jewelry, be careful not to spray fragrances on your neck while you're wearing the jewelry. This is obviously not costume jewelry, but you know, I just have to be mindful of when I am wearing costume jewelry. I don't really spray the fragrances on my neck that much because I don't want my, you know, my costume jewelry to tarnish. Um, let me show y'all something. So the Chinatown body cream, right? First of all, all the Bond body creams are very, very high quality, guys. They last a really long time. I want to say they expire within like 24 months of being open. So that's amazing. The packaging, this thing is so heavy. It's a weapon. It's like cement or like some type of a coated glass 
guys it's so heavy but let me show you the cream i love a high quality emollient cream that's just gonna melt into my skin so look at this do you see how it just melts into your skin guys this is everything it just melts right into my skin i just love this so much then let me tell you something. The only reason why I don't have a lot of Bond creams, because I have 10, 11 Bond fragrances. The only reason why I don't have every single cream to the fragrance, if it comes with the cream, is because I have so many other body creams. I can, you know, mix it or layer it in with like my Eucerin, you know, spray it in my Eucerin or whatever. But if you don't have a bunch of fragrances, then I feel like the Bond creams will do you good. So now let me get... I need to put my earrings on. I really be on here with no earrings. And I'm trying to decide which earring to wear. So I just got these from Banana Republic. It's like a leaf, like a gold leaf. Maybe I'll do these. Either these or my trusty Louis Vuitton Louis earrings. But I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like I want to do these. Ooh, these are brand new, so I have to clean them. So I am gonna wear them, but I need to put some alcohol on them. Stand by. So I have alcohol pads, but I just didn't feel like going in a linen closet to get them right now. But I'm just using alcohol sprayed on a paper towel. Like I said, these are brand new. Where's the box? They came in this box. But, y'all, I don't care if the earring is new or not. I always clean it. Because you just never know. And what? Oh, let me show you. Um the bag that I'm going to carry. These are, do they feel heavy? They don't feel heavy, but I can feel that I'm wearing, you know, big earrings, but they don't feel heavy. But these are really cute. I'm going to link them because you guys are always asking me about my earrings. So these are the sunglasses that I'm going to wear. And as you guys can see, my face is very minimal makeup because one is hot two i'm wearing sunglasses and i have like a sunglass routine like a sunglass makeup routine because i hate when i put glasses on and then you see like the indentation of like the marks of the glasses because you're wearing so much makeup but for the most part i'm going to be wearing my glasses these are chloe um i don't think they're available because somebody asked me about them before and i couldn't find them so and this is my purse. I'm carrying this YSL bag. I mean, it does match my top. I did not do that on purpose, y'all. I did not, I promise you. Let me pull y'all back so you can see what I'm wearing. These Valentino slippers with this Janessa Leone hat. I'm not gonna put it on, you know, until we get to the restaurant, but this will be the hat that I'm wearing. It's a nice wide brim boater hat. And I already showed you my purse, the YSL sac de jour. Here's my outfit. You really can't even see the bottom because they literally look like, it looks like a skirt. But this is the back. It's kind of like high waist a little bit. And then I'm just wearing this Zara tank top. It has pockets. Because we love a good pocket, honey. So... I'm about to put my shoes on and go downstairs because Bay's already downstairs waiting for me as per usual. But if I can get footage of the restaurant and the food and things like that, you guys know I will. I'll try to get a full OOTD so you can see the full outfit because let me tell y'all something. Banana Republic don't owe me nothing. <laughs> they don't owe me anything because I've been loving everything and it's just been fitting right. The colors, everything just been so right. But anyway, you guys, I'll see you later. Let me tell you about this girl. Maybe I should. I met her in Philly and her name was Brown Sugar. See, we've been making love constantly. That's why my eyes are a shade. Blood burgundy. The
The way that we kiss is unlike any other way that I be kissing when I'm kissing what I miss. Won't you listen? Brown sugar, babe. I guess high off your love. I don't know how to feel. How's your drink? Drink is drinking. Got a little Chardonnay. Is it Chardonnay in there? Shaky shake. <laughs> you got you in deep thought. You got it off. It's good? It's like iced tea. It's like a peach iced tea, right? All right, guys, so we got a peachy. Yeah, there's, um, I think there's some type of liquor in here. This drink, guys, it's basically a peach iced tea. Remember, I've been telling y'all the peach had me in the chokehold. So now I'm smelling like peach and drinking the peach. Right? <laughs> right? Right? All right, guys, I think I forgot to let you know that we're at a totally different location now. We left brunch and we came to one of our favorite local spots. So, right? <laughs> Y'all, why am I bothering him? Why am I bothering him? Oh boy. All right, we gotta go. Let your hair down, baby. I just hit a score. Pick any place on the planet. Pick a shore. Take what the falls, figure the figure more. Cause they forgot to account what I did with the fraud. Pick a time, let's pick a pass and stars. Pick a weekend for freaking for figure.